Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend uh, love and general reading. This is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. For the weeks of, or the weekend of September 21st through the 23rd. So I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. And I'm actually doing these a little different. Um, it's cool. And I'll also pull out um, some oracle cards. Okay, so the central issue here, we have the seven of wands yeah seven of wands we have the hanged man and we also have the high priestess then we have the two of wands three of pinnacles the world um prince of chalice and the tower man see that's gonna make me want to clarify okay so um it looks like for this weekend there's some plans that may have been in hold, on hold, or I'm seeing someone that has been secretly planning some things. Someone has been uh, in the dark, strategizing. Um, someone may have been coming off a little cold or distant. Uh, but I'm seeing like preparation plans being made here. This may have been something that has been in the works for a while. This may be a surprise. Whatever has been uh, secret is going to come into the light here. Um, definitely seeing secrets coming out. Someone could have left you hanging. Someone could have left you on hold. Um, you thought everything had ended or you thought, um, I don't know, you might be in a state of suspense where it feels like nothing is happening, but actually there is a new beginning there's a new season here something's happening that you're very unaware of um definitely things happening see there's with a flower growing here and that there's life uh being born into something that appears to be dead this life around here is frozen there is no movement um but something has um, come through the ground here something has blossomed so there is life uh, you just don't understand or know the things that are going on uh, maybe you've been searching for clues and you've been listening to your intuition I'm also seeing like a lot of dreams uh, those of you that are very intuitive uh, or that have premonitions I'm seeing like you having a lot of dreams that have left you puzzled like what did that mean and you're trying to figure out what that means um but i almost feel like your vision has been blocked or your third eye has been blocked because you're just not supposed to know about some of the things that are going on or some of the things that are happening now if if you are not the one in the dark then you are the one making preparations and trying to keep um, very quiet about what is going on here but something has been building here and you may have taken a break or there's a rest period of some sort there's getting ready to be some sort of breakthrough I feel like something like something is getting ready to flood in like emotions or um, there's getting ready to be like a flood. Maybe you already intuitively have felt something coming up like you you're you've been preparing without even knowing it like you have been put in alignment with what the universe is getting ready to reveal to you. For some of you, you may have been having physical symptoms like your body has been talking to you and telling you that something is getting ready to change or something's getting ready to happen here. Um, 
so you've been preparing yourself pretty well. Your intuition has any well anyway. Uh, we do have. I feel like you're building with someone. Uh, it, there's break. There's a breakthrough. I'm just seeing people who are happy to be together, happy to be working on projects together. Um, there could be an attraction between you and a coworker. Um, the building, I feel like something's budding between you and another person, like something has slowly been developing and now is coming into fruition and it's exciting here. You're beginning to see the fruits of your labor or some sort of manifestation, but it's the early, it's like the early stages here. like. Like in regards to love, if you had been um, taking things slowly with someone or someone has been taking slowly things slowly with you, um, finally, there's this breakthrough where you guys are opening up to one another. Maybe uh, the both of you have been closed off. Maybe the both of you had some trust issues, but now maybe there is some sort of stimulating conversation that takes place. And... It, gives you guys motivation to continue this so you're now you're optimistic about what could come of this um yeah i'm definitely seeing the birth of a friendship the birth of a relationship the birth of um a beautiful partnership whether it's a co-worker love relationship I feel like all the details are being worked out here. Those of you that are creative or artists are definitely working diligently on some sort of project and you're just finishing out the details. It's like it's something like you can't rush the last part, whether it's music, whether it's painting, whether it's choreography. Um, I'm seeing someone like something beautiful has been started and established and now it's like, okay, let's just finish the details. Um, something also it kind of it takes off fast but then it slows down as well as what I'm picking up things pick start off fast and then they slow down so that it can set um, in stone um, and this also making me feel like I don't know why I'm thinking about cement and when you pour the cement and you smooth it out and you get it like really perfect and it's like slowly that cement is starting to harden. So you want to make sure it looks perfect before it hardens. So I'm feeling like whatever has been established, there's a need to slow it down a little bit because you don't want to mess things up. You want things to be perfect. Um, maybe it's like starting off too fast and then slowing down and say, oh my God, I can't fall in love like I've done before. I want this to go right this time. So let's just slow things down or, um, you know, I'm going to slow things down just so that we don't take off too fast. Uh, something is almost finished though. It's, it's coming to a full circle. Something's coming uh, into completion. Um, you guys give me a minute because I feel like, you know, there are a lot of messages here. For one, I know I feel like uh, this is talking about some sort of major transition. Like you've been through um, this stage. You've been through that stage. This is like the final stages. Um, I'm seeing like beginning stages and then final stages. I'm seeing a beginning, a middle and an end. So something Something is happening in increments. It starts off fast, but then it slows down so that things can be perfected here. I'm feeling like there is happiness with the way things are, are going. You're starting a new life. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing like your whole appearance, like you, you're making your face up, you're, getting, you're beautifying yourself, 
and you look completely different. So I'm seeing like a completely different transformation for some of you or because someone is preparing for a big reveal. Um, so there could be some sort of reveal party going on. And I almost want to say gender reveal and almost in a sense, not really necessarily with a baby, but um, someone who is transgender or who's going through some sort of transformation. And you've, the process has been, um, it's, it's been a long process. And now you're getting ready to become who you truly are. Now, I know that isn't gonna resonate for everybody, but I feel like that might be specific, even if it's only for one person. Like someone is getting ready to um, reveal the new me. They're like, I'm a new man or I'm, I'm a new woman. Um, this is my, or this is my new home. Maybe you've been doing, uh, um, you, you've been doing home repairs. There's some sort of makeover. Um, and now there's time for a big reveal. Um, so this is some sort of completion of a renovation as well. So renovate, if you've been working on your home or if your home has been worked on, um, the renovation is, is, should be finished or completed by this weekend. Also for others of you, I'm seeing, um, what do you call it? Travel. Travel, relocating, meeting someone, meeting up with someone who you care about. I'm seeing a new love develop. Definitely we have uh, the Princess of Cups. So we could, this could be a water sign, could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, doesn't have to be. Um, something happens out of the blue. For some people, I'm seeing this as, be careful, because it's almost like maybe you had uh, fun at a party or you know you slept with somebody, you didn't know you were pregnant, you didn't even notice that you're period had been late and before you know it it's like completely you know it's just everything stopped and you're like holy shit I haven't had my period in three months and this is like the first trimester of the pregnancy is completed and you're finding out that you're with child and you're like oh my god like so for some of you you have been waiting in the dark about something like you are unaware that you are a mother you're unaware that something is growing within your stomach even if you're a guy watching you are unaware that you're about to become a parent you are unaware that your seed combined with an egg and, and fertilized an egg and started forming a human a little human so i'm feeling like for some of you it's going to be a shock you find out that you are um expecting mother and father expecting um so let me clarify the tower here. Clarify the tower. Yeah, whatever it is, it's a pleasant surprise. I prefer to see the Nine of Cups following this. Um, this is finding pleasure out of this sudden change. Um, someone is saying, I'm going to be a mom. Someone's saying, I'm going to be a dad. Someone is saying, um, I'm enjoying, you know, I, I got a visitor out the blue. I wasn't expecting to have company. Or suddenly you're single and you're just like, I like being single. Like, I'm glad things are over. I'm glad I've moved on. Someone might be surprised at the fact that you're so at peace with a breakup. They broke up with you and you're sitting up here just like, oh, okay, well, uh, it was nice, wasn't it? You know, it lasted as long as it could and someone's just like, are you seriously not gonna cry over me? Are you not sad about this? So I'm seeing someone is like really happy about something that you know, either ends or someone is happy about 
the secrets that come out and especially if it's in relation to someone uh, expressing how they feel or something that you're passionate about or something that you've been working on like your artwork and you're just kind of pleased and you maybe you're even shocked that something came out so good that your work came out so good or your pro your work project came out so good um, this is definitely motherhood for somebody somebody is finding out that they're expecting up oh, look at that we have two people that came together. They had this divine union connection. They didn't know why they came together, but they felt this strong pull. Um, they came together. They were intimate. Something happened in the dark. What happened in the dark was something that took place in the womb. They didn't know there was a manifestation taking place in the womb. And now you're the, the whatever was found in the dark is now being revealed here into physical manifestation confirmation you're there's a confirmation that you are expecting you are going getting ready to be a nurturer uh, you're getting ready to take care of someone so there's uh, something going on um, with you and it's like you value what has happened to you or you value what's inside of you I know that isn't going to resonate for uh, some of you but I'm just feeling like um, you got what you asked for it whatever it is if it's not a pregnancy um, it's more than it's a symbolic pregnancy something that you had been working on is now uh, coming to life and it's look things are looking good and maybe people are paying you or paying you compliments and you're just feeling um, happy emotional emotionally satisfied and happy here you're glad you listen to your intuition. Someone is opening up gradually and expressing how they feel. Um, even if you're going to a bar and you're socializing, um, you're just, it's overall to me, it, it looks like it's good energy. It might, something might start off as an initial shock, but um, I think you're gonna be happy with the results. All right, so uh, what additional messages are there for Leo, Aries, Sag for the weekend of September 21st, 22nd, and 23rd? Oh, shoot. I knew that was going to happen. I felt like my camera wasn't sitting up good today. Bear with me technical difficulties boom that's not gonna last very long but it is what it is Leo Aries Sag let me shuffle off the table so I won't shake it that was a tower moment Okay, so we have here detach. So there is a need for you to let go of the past. Um, and I feel like this, the imagery is the same. Like there was this coldness or a period where it seemed like there was a death or nothing was happening. And now you're moving out from that. Now you're entering into a new life. There's definitely something, there's definitely some sort of birth. And even though this isn't the death card, uh, this is still making me feel like this is something about a transformation. I feel like you're stepping into the light or you're transitioning into... Um, a state of uncertainty or unawareness to consciousness and awareness. So now you're aware of what lies ahead of you. And now you can make some sort of clear decision if you were held back or if you were unsure uh, previously. Now, for some of you, I have this as challenging times. Um, so for some of you, I feel like it might be challenging 
uh, but this is dealing with the mental so um, with your thoughts I think it's just in your head you're going to need to detach from what other people are saying to you or from what other people tell you your reality should be and just follow your own intuition and do what's best for you. This is saying share the love and then we're, I'm seeing like the three here. I'm seeing 11 and I'm seeing three. I'm seeing unions. I'm seeing two people who manifest a third. Two energies combined to create a third. If that third energy isn't like a literal baby or child, then this entity that comes from two people is the birth of a new relationship that could lead to something permanent or lead to marriage or something. Um, I'm feeling like someone is opening up. Both of these people are opening up their hands. So... I feel like there are two people who are willing to move forward together, willing to work together. If this is for coworkers, willing to work together, willing to compromise, um, ready to break free from society standards, whatever that would mean to you. Yeah, everyone has their hand out. Everyone is receiving and or giving or there might be a mutual reception of uh, giving and receive. I feel like this is more so about giving. So this is more about giving. So someone is really being um, selfless and putting other people before themselves. Someone is sharing, feels like they're able to share of themselves or share their gift or they feel comfortable enough where they can share that. And then three, is at, we have another three here and also this is making me think of the lovers and twin flames so for some of you not everyone some of you this may have something to do with your twin flame or being introduced to your twin flame or making some sort of compromise with your twin flame you guys might be sharing gifts or they might be opening up gifts within you or your understanding that this is why this person came in your life is to help um, shed some light on some sort of inner hidden talent or gift that you had and now you're able to confidently share that with other people all right so you guys um this has been your general weekend love and general reading hope it resonated thank you guys for watching many blessings to you